Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Hattie Homemaking. Today is going to be a really chilled at home day so I thought I would go back to one of the old style vlogs I used to do and just sort of show my day and take it really chilled. I have not been on YouTube as frequently pretty much since Christmas and January. I My new year's resolution was just be kinder to myself, take it easier. I do work a full-time quite emotionally intensive job that I do love but at the same time it leaves me with very little energy for after work and weekends. So I think the schedule of two videos a week and almost treating it like I had to do it was just tiring me out a little bit before Christmas I was absolutely exhausted and really really needed the break and then almost you know once you have a break and you stop then it's really hard to get going again because what are you doing down there oh he's jumping on the bed <laughs> you little Wally he's wagging his tail looking <laughs> yeah I think sometimes when you stop it can be really hard to then start again because you remember how exhausted you were. So I think that was my body as a sign. I'm really sorry, I think Murphy's just burped. <laughs> what are you like? You little diva, aren't you? Jumping up to the bed, burping like you own the place. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, oh, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. I'm going to be terrible one day when I'm a mum because I get distracted so easily by Murphy. So God help me when it's my actual child. <laughs> oh, no, that felt so bad. You are. You are. I love you so much. You're not my child. You're a pup, but I love you very much. Anyway, <laughs> do you get my point now? So yeah, I think it was my body sign just to slow down, take it easier. So I'm going to just leave the YouTube schedule of two videos a week for now. I feel the collective groans from like the YouTube like experts that all tell you stay consistent, post twice a week on the same days. And that's how you like build up a following. But it's just not... <laughs> I think you know something's not important to you when it becomes important to you for like a couple of weeks and then it goes again and then it cut like I think yeah it's just one of those things that I'm not going to stress myself out my job is the most important thing and this is a hobby anyways <laughs> rant over so we're just going to have a nice chilled day at home today I have to get on top of the cleaning we went away this week and had a lovely break um in it's called Betsy Cloid in Wales it was really really pretty it had like a nice waterfall and things so we went there this weekend which meant the weekend cleaning has just gone out the window the bathroom is a tip so today is just going to be getting on top of everything and yes feeling more organized and I really hope you do enjoy this video. Murphy is now enjoying a nice cozy time on the bed I'm a bit jealous actually when he does this it makes me just want to like slob out next to him and just stroke him because he's so cute look at his little tongue that hangs out you little baby he's really happy at the moment because we've changed his food he was itching a little bit on his old i can't say the word watching pe perk up in a minute when i say this word on his old biscuits yeah <laughs> Oh bless him, that shows he's really tired if it was just an eye flick and not like a full get up and drunk about. Um, drunk about? Um, jump about. <laughs> Murphy is not drunk. So yeah, on his old biscuits, he <laughs> um, he started to itch his skin a little bit. So we have changed his um, food to, it's called Chappie. It's like available everywhere, but vets recommend it for any like skin issues dogs might have and it sorted him right out but he absolutely loves it as well like it's he absolutely wolfs it down so I've noticed he's just been a lot more chilled out and happy since we've started giving him that so happy days please excuse the state of my kitchen there's dishes everywhere but I just wanted to show you these two new things I got over Christmas as well so this is a tabletop dishwasher I have wanted a dishwasher for years ever since I moved out but there is no space for it here the pipes it would just cost so much for a plumber to get it in for it to fit in like here and also I don't want to give up my cleaning drawer and I don't want to give up my bin um cupboard as well because I like them just to be stored away so this was the alternative so it's really easy to use you just fill it up with water at the top here and then the pipe just sort of sits in the sink there please I'm so sorry about the mess it's like disgraceful <laughs> but it's so easy because you just don't have to plumb it 
into anything it's a decent size i wouldn't say you can fit loads in it um but i would say for the two of us at the moment we probably only have to do about two washes a day in it and it's just so much better for things like i noticed my mugs um they were getting tea stained really easily and they were really hard to clean whereas in here they come out sparkling then the next thing i got so this is i bought myself this as my christmas new year's treat as you can see it already needs a bit of clean with the finger marks but my dad got me this it's um the nutra ninja um foodie seven in one so you have all sorts in there you have an air fryer slow cooker um pressure cooker you can saute things on it as well so you can use it instead of your hob um you can steam things it's just got so many uses in so i've already used it as a slow cooker and we've also used the air fryer as well so i need to try a couple more recipes so if you've got any good air fryer slow cooker any of those sort of recipes please do leave them below or message me on instagram and um, that would be super super helpful so yes today's plan is to sort out the kitchen I suppose it's not that bad actually they're only my breakfast bowls and then that pot is soaking from last night but the bathroom is the real disgrace so i need to get on to that so this is the current state of my bathroom i don't think the camera picks up just how dirty it is like the sink can you see that wow that's all my makeup just smushed up on the side then we both got new electric toothbrushes so they've all just been out on the side there instead of in normally i like to keep them in a glass or something or toothbrushes but because they're a bit thicker i can't find a glass that actually fits them so i need to <laughs> work out a solution for that um then i've just kind of been throwing everything on my skincare um holder thing <laughs> so that needs to be sorted the bath is full of just dust and hairs and all sorts and the shower also needs a clean as well and the floor is abysmal so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to have a quick little 30 minute well 20 minute spruce up of the bathroom and just get it looking a lot better okay so i've just made up my little cleaning caddy of all the things i'm going to need for the bathroom so i have been trying to use less products and more natural products it's a bit of a long journey there's still a lot in my cupboard and also there are products things like mold that i just can't find as good of a natural method so this is what i'm going to use to clean my bathroom today so i have this method spray this is um the per first purchase i made when i decided to go a little bit more natural so this is more of a natural um cleaner um it's more expensive than the rest but it does smell really really nice and it's a nice bottle and things like that and i know it sounds stupid but things like that just make a huge difference to me so i have been using that instead of my pink stuff spray the next thing i've been using which i always used anyway is white vinegar spray the next thing I use is Viacal. So this is not natural, but it is amazing for lime scale in the bathroom. So I need to use that. Then again, this is not natural, but this is the Astonish Mold and Mildew Blaster. It's the best thing I have found for mold. You just spray it and leave it and it's incredible. If you did want to do something a little bit more simple, you can use bleach and then just leave it over the mold. But for this is just a lot easier in my opinion. Then I have loads of bottles of Zaflora that I'm trying to use up. Zaflora is not an essential in my house. I just love the way it smells and I use it mainly to put down plug holes and things. I don't use it on surfaces as much because it is toxic to dogs. So I'm very, very careful because of Murphy. Then I have bathroom wipes. I only ever use these for the toilet. And then I have different scrubbers so i have this bathroom cleaner that i like to use for most things and then this minky um is really good for glass and then this is just a microfiber cloth that i will use um to dry so that's everything and then i will also use some bleach down at the toilet as well which i keep in my bathroom anyway <laughs> Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. 
I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't wanna face it. You think it's too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighters and throw our problems in the flame. Throw our problems in the flame. to do a bit more of a deep clean of the toilet today so I've just taken the toilet seat off um, on a lot of toilets you can just press that little button there and it takes it off and it's so much more easy to clean but I've just decided to give that a bit of a bleach bath so what I do I just put bleach on the bits that look a bit discoloured and then put a tissue over it to keep the bleach in place then I'll just leave that for an hour or two um, same with the toilet I've got bleach in there um, and then I'll just clean it out afterwards. So I'm gonna move on to the shower while that's doing, it, while that's going. Um, and I forgot to say at the start, but I keep the stuff that I use to clean the shower in the shower. So I also got this Method um, Daily Shower Spray. Can't say we're the best at using it daily, but we do try. <laughs> I also have some Febreze um, bathroom cleaner. Is it Febreze? I think so. 
So we just put that in a um, dish matic and then while I'm in the shower, please ignore that rusty nail that is from when I put this shower caddy up. You will have seen it in my um, one of my organisation videos and we still just can't work out how to get it out. So we have a handyman in the family who is going to come around and help soon. Um, but anyway, so when I'm in the shower, you can just use this while the um, sides are wet and just clean while you're sort of in the shower. And then I keep a little stray old toothbrush back there as well for any places I can't get to. So the shower I try and keep on top of when I'm just in here, but I'm just gonna give it a quick um, spruce up today, just clean the screen and things like that. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see all your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need to hide. Come closer so that we can. So that is now the bathroom looking a lot more put together. I still need to put the toilet seat back on, but I'm just gonna leave that to soak with bleach for as long as possible. Um, and then it's ready for some new towels and some bath mats, a new hand towel. So I'm gonna put all them out later. Um, the sink is looking loads better. I've done the mirror, the radiator bath. Um, the shower is looking a lot better. Um, but like I say, I do kind of keep on top of that daily, so it wasn't as bad. And the floor is a lot better as well. It was really, really dusty and dirty, so I got a lot up from there. So I'm happy with how the bathroom is now. I feel a lot more put together and like my life is in order. <laughs> On the graves, in the cracks of a thousand leaves Somewhere in between Our past and our future rolling over All the dividing things Are you still listening? Want to be heard by you Slow fall to the Indian Sea Where the cold and the heart meet And the powers that be
it's morning And my soul is clear I look in the mirror And I see that love rolling over You call me back to bed I find myself again Stay climb on me as soon as I sit down. Does anyone else's dogs do this? You literally like, I'm not even sat down yet and he just like jumps on me. You're only happy when we're sitting down and he can sit on our knee. <laughs> I think that's a Yorkie thing as well because of this breed. Anyway, I've just got a nice big cup of tea. I've just got the cleaning that I wanted to get done. Done. So the main thing was the bathroom and then I've just, um, put in a load of towels. I, you would have seen this anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you. <laughs> and then just emptied the dishwasher, put the new stuff in and cleaned the pot. So I'm feeling a lot better. I'm just gonna have my cup of tea and chill out for a bit. I'm thinking in a little bit, I might go to a nearby charity that does secondhand furniture. So I really want to change this sofa. It's okay, like I, I like the way it looks and it's comfy in some spots, but it's just, we've had it for a couple of years now and it only cost us, I think it was about 400 to buy at the time. Um, But the cushions sort of like slide. So I just sat like here, it like slides down and it's just, it's not the most ideal thing. So I am on the lookout for a new sofa. We did go looking brand new and I thought because it was January sales, it would be, a lot cheaper but it was just so expensive like it's about a thousand pound the one I really wanted was 1,800 we were so close and then I thought no it's just it's such a huge amount of money um to spend on a sofa and then in a couple of years you never know we might move house and then it wouldn't fit in so I'm going to keep an eye out in charities I think for another secondhand sofa that's still good quality not too worn but just a lot comfier so I might nip out in a little bit bit um just to have a quick look at the charity shop near me just to see if they've got anything but we'll see um if anyone else has any really good tips for finding cheap sofas then let me know i feel like it's something i really want but at this time in my life i just can't justify spending the amount of money it takes to get a new one so that's on my agenda but it's not we're not desperate like if we need to we can just keep this for a year or two so I'm just going to enjoy my cup of tea and then see how I feel afterwards and if I have the energy I'm going to go and look in the charity shop. I don't think I'll be able to show you as I'm going around because it has like, because it's like a furniture secondhand place, it's not like a charity shop on every piece of furniture, it's got the name of the place which is also the name I live so I can't show you in there I don't think unless it's changed and they don't do that anymore. But anyway I'm going to stop rambling now. Murphy is, you're on a tripod so it's hard to show you, but Murphy is on my knee. There we go. <laughs> that was so weird, I'm like picking up a huge tripod. Yeah, so Murphy's having a nice cuddle with me now. Aren't you, Babby? Say hello. I feel like people on the internet love Murphy. You're very loved. You are by me as well. And your dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Again, every time, every time I look at Murphy, my brain goes to mush because he's just so cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this cup of tea now and then just see where the day takes me. It's nearly lunchtime as well, so I need to think about what I'm gonna have for lunch. A 
okay so i'm now in my car i've never vlogged in my car i feel like a proper like youtube person now um but i'm going to head to the charity shop it took some effort then to get myself in my coat and ready to go out because i just wanted to sit and chill after my cup of tea so i'm going to head to this charity shop now see if there's anything in there and then i'm gonna head home for lunch also just quickly i haven't shown you this coat before i got this new in the january sales i got it for 15 pound from new look it is my new favorite thing it's like a long line um thick it's so warm and i like it because it's nice and bright so it is definitely worth going to the january sales i think i went a couple of days after christmas and got this and a couple of tops and yeah it was a lot cheaper than it would have been so hopefully i get as lucky now at the charity shop Okay, so I'm back home now. I didn't find anything, unfortunately, this time that I wanted. There was loads of amazing stuff. Let me just close the dishwasher door. Um, there was loads of amazing stuff. Let me just go in another room. I feel like the lighting in the kitchen is terrible. That's better. <laughs> Um, there was a couple of sofas and things but not what I'm after so I'm after a corner sofa we've already got a corner sofa there and I'm not wanting to change it come on Murph he's excited I'm home come here then there we go um yeah I really want a corner sofa and a lot of them were leather as well and I'm not into leather I know it's more practical but they're just not comfortable for me so um I left it for today but there was some amazing dressing tables but we have no room so this is my current dressing table um and it it just fits the space perfectly and it fits loads of stuff in so and also it goes with my other furniture so that was a really awkward turn around with the camera um but it just goes to show like the amount of amazing stuff you can get secondhand i feel like i'm a broken record when it comes to secondhand things but i'm just i'm amazed at like what some people would throw out and like what if like people didn't buy secondhand it would literally just go to waste I can't get over it so anyway I'm gonna make some lunch now I'm going to make a jacket potato and some beans so I'm going to try doing the jacket potato in my foodie ninja I'm gonna put it in the microwave for a little bit to soften it and then I'm gonna air crisp it to get the edges of the potato nice and crispy so I'm going to give that a try now have some nice lunch and then I'm just gonna chill out for the afternoon. Okay, so I've got these two little potatoes. I didn't have a big enough baked potato, so I've had to use two little ones. Um, and they are softened in the microwave. So I'm now gonna put them in here. I'm gonna turn it on, but Murphy is probably gonna freak out. He has noise anxiety and it's worse with anything electrical. So he hates the sound of this. Don't you, Murphy? He hates the sound of this. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> and also the dishwasher and the washing machine. Basically, anything that beeps, Murphy hates, don't you? So I'm going to put them in the air crisps now, but let me. Um, I might have to like mute the sound <laughs> while Murphy goes mad. So I'm going to put them in. So this is the um, air crisp bowl. I've never actually used it before. It's Paul that's um, done everything in it so far, so I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so then I'm going to put that down. And then we're going to turn it on and then put it to air crisp mode. Yeah, no, I know, I don't like it. Okay, and then I'm going to put the temperature down to, uh, well, I'll do 190. And then for the time, they're really tiny and I don't want them to be too crispy. So I'm thinking I'll just start with eight minutes and just see what that does. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, I'm sorry. That wasn't too bad, was it? So you can hear it sort of rev up and start working its magic. Okay, so I've just stopped it. I've already had a cheeky little peek in. Um, so I stopped it a couple of minutes before it was ready. Good job I did because it's looking very, very crispy. But you can tell it's crispy on the outside, but it feels super, super soft. So I'm going to cut into these now, put some beans over and some cheese. And I'm hoping this is going to be my new favourite lunch because I used to love a really good soft jacket potato. 
Okay, so the verdict on the potatoes is they were absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with it. They were so soft in the middle and crispy on the outside, exactly what you want your jacket potato to be. And also the air fryer has barely got any cleaning up to it. It's just like a quick wipe of the bottom of it because not really anything came out. It's not like an oily food. I'm sure if I did something a bit more like oily and sticky, it would be a bit harder to clean. But for an easy lunch, that's amazing. I'm so happy with it. Sorry for the overhead lighting. And I can't stand the lighting in my kitchen on camera but hey ho we just have to put up with it so I've eaten my lunch now and I think I'm gonna end this vlog now because the only thing I've really got left to do for today is move the towels from the washing machine to the tumble dryer and then I also need to chop up the veg for dinner tonight we're having marinated salmon in soy sauce honey and garlic and then I chop up a load of veg roast them and then we'll have some chips with it as well so I just need to prepare that but I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a chilled afternoon now of editing this vlog so I'm going to end this vlog here I really hope you have enjoyed it and thank you again if you are back on my channel after quite a long break for me and yeah just hopefully you will put up with the inconsistency compared to what it was like before Christmas but we will just see how I feel let's just see where the year takes me let's just take it bit by bit I will vlog when I'm in the mood it'll probably be once a week at least and then on the weeks I've got a bit more energy I will do the two but anyway I hope you have enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one